GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. Still goal percentage, that won't get it. <laughs> Not at all, Clark. You rarely see a team surrender points this easily. They have got to do better. For the finish, watches the slam dunk finish. You rarely see him missing dunks, but the defender was right in his face on that one, and it threw him off just enough. And up. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. We're at the end of the first quarter, and what a blowout already in this one. The Pistons on top, opening up a huge gap. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And Stephen Clark Pistons pretty much in control here. It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job of negating the timing and spacing of their opponent. Every shot is challenged and challenged well. The Cavaliers shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. Here are the five. Detroit has to start the second quarter. We've got Armstrong, and it's McGee, and at the five down low. To the middle, here's Holcomb, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. The Pistons shooting their first free throw tonight. And that one misses. And so here's Cleveland. Stripped it away. The Pistons, another fast break chance right here. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, he never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop chop there? Put that in one hand. Tomahawk slam. The tray. Another three for Detroit. How about the range on that jump shot? I love seeing this guy when he's in form. And he can't stop the run as he misses. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Boy, they've got him on their heels the way they've been running the ball up and down, right down their throat. Yeah, some explosive plays we're seeing now in transition have really keyed this run. They set the screen. Here's McKinney. Rebound to Detroit. Yeah, the offense seems completely in disarray. Exactly. But at the other end, it's one bucket after the other. This run is getting out of hand right now. Cleveland's with the ball. They faced off right here last time they met, but the Hulk just couldn't pull out the win. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out rebound. Yeah, and that turned the tide to rebound the difference. They've got to focus and make it a team effort to really pound the glass. Inside. Pushing it up. Here's Armstrong. The putback is no good. And even three on three break. Here's McKinney. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Pass to Nichols. For the three. Another three for Detroit. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Pass break Detroit. Here's Kent. And another three for Detroit. Another fast break score for them, and they've really made the most of their transition game. It's fun to watch. Yeah, and, and the differential there is what stands out for me. I mean, they've also denied those runouts defensively. Yeah. 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 you love his aggressiveness finishing inside like that. Well, his leaping ability, Clark, gives him a great advantage. And, and, and that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim. It's either a foul. Count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Kevin, he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? This game is out of hand. 
Exactly, Barbera's lead is not surprising given their advantage on the back door. The Pistons in their third free throw shot of the game. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws, 81% as a team. One of the things they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season, and rightfully so. What's up? What's up, man? hand in time and we are not going to have time just yet officials signaling they are going to review the tape and, and they're they're making sure on this one even though it may not matter in the grand scheme but the replay process is faster than ever you know why not yeah the replay center is the call because providing the officials with the necessary footage to make the call is good we're seeing what they're seeing with the best possible angle They've overturned the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, and Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. The Pistons on top, running away with it. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We welcome you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Detroit finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Let's start with you, Kenny. What did you think? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into place. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. Looking at Cleveland, Shaq, your thoughts. Sloppy ball, way too many wasted possessions, chucking up threes, missing them. I could hit more threes than that. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside, because that's what it's going to take. If they were hitting more threes, that'd be a different story. But if it was the fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report, as it's just about time for the start of the third quarter. And Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim. Being on some chips, we go zero to 100 real quick. The Pistons shoot has six attack at the free throw line tonight. Not even a little bit. Oh, Lord. Know yourself. Know your worth. My ex is being louder than my words. Even the shots in close. Yes, again, just the lackluster transition defense. And seven of the last ten points, Greg, they've surrendered, have come off the fast break, so real easy to see what the problem is. Detroit shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Over the top, but instead he'll shoot free throws. I woke up in a new Bugatti. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. In high quality numbers for him all season long. How about 81 from the line? You know, it's been a rougher year than he expected at the line, guys. I mean, he's seen the numbers dropping off for him this year. Bonner, he's checked in for Cleveland. I watch mama struggle now, she living carefree. That's why I was just And he's good on the second. Oh, 
이제 가면서 둘이 딱 붙어갔지 비극 지금 기기 아프지만 지나고 보면 웃음 나오는 희극 그래서 우린 지금을 참고 살아 난 미쳤다 생각하면서 keep dreaming First one falls for Oh my god Oh my god 현실에서 아직 붙잡아 두고 싶은 꿈 넘고 힘든 삶의 남사 내서 때론 포기하고 So he gets them both. Jack, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. I think that's the perfect time to do it, Greg. I mean, those few seconds after the turnover, strike right away because the defense has no chance to get organized. And so it's the Pistons taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Hey, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. Now we send you to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's standing by in our studio. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here, so is Shaquille O'Neal. Time now for some highlights as we take a look at our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. He was completely in sync with the whole team tonight. And you can see that in the assist numbers, which was spectacular, I might add. It's hard to imagine him having a better night passing the basketball. Man. He was literally unstoppable tonight, Ernie. Those defenders that were trying to guard him are going to have nightmares tonight. He put on a clinic on how to break down the defense. With that kind of performance, it's going to be hard to repeat it. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful day.